Welcome back, folks. I am Manic Mink. This is your Opinion for Salus 4. When we last left off, we were doing phenomenally well. We had just beaten the crap out of France. Uh, and I don't... Still, to be honest with you, don't really understand why. Or what we did that was so different. Like, I don't know why they had no army. Because that's scary bad for them. Like, I'm kind of really surprised. You can go here. Go. You two join up there. Good. Good. What are you building? You're building a boat? Building boats? Early frigate? To Imperial Integrity? I don't understand. What do we mean we've lost the effects of Imperial Integrity? Okay. You say so. This. Oh, we have a ton of boats, actually. Um, here, you two go here. You two, you guys go there. You guys go here. So, all Ottoman territories, that's fine. I uh, have everybody. Let's go, uh, eight, nine, ten. Marketplace? Sure. Why not? So in December of this, uh, this year, we will be going to war with, um, Venice and the Knights. Uh, just. No, you stay there. Go. Go back there, you fools. Want ten light ships patrolling each trade route. I don't know if ten's a good number, a bad number, whatever. It's just. Seems like a reasonable number, so. I thought, why not? Cancel that one, then. Build a trade depot there. Sure. Just spending our money building stuff at this, at this point. It's not really... Nothing really too big going on. Uh, you patrol trade in Venice. How's our trade looking? Yeah, Genoa and Venice are the biggest. We do not have any available merchants, so it's just those two. Okay, good. build it there, then we'll also, you go up and you go up, still making 30 per month even with full maintenance, and completely maxed out uh, army forces. That's nuts. It's crazy a lot of money that we're making. Austria's opinion improved. Yay, you like me, that's good. As long as Austria's my friend, I don't have to worry except for if the Ottomans decide that they want to eat my face. They might. Nope. Ours. Can be for someone else. Fuck off. Truce expires December 17th. I'm just building these anywhere I can, I guess. May as well. Okay, and you to here, you to here, you to here as well. Uh, you, I suppose, I should actually... Here. Your 
only allied with the knights. Declare war, take Venice. Declare war. There. And now... I have 11, so let's get you on the boats. Now on the Barbary Coast. Uh, and then we'll come over here and attack the Knights as well. I can do that, but I don't really want to. Let's do... Uh... Hmm. <laughs> Let's do that. It'll give us more trade power. And you go here. This will be probably the only rough battle. Well, the only battle, really, of any merit in this war. Go. Uh, and then U26 can come back over here. Good. <laughs> War over. And then you come here. And then you go back here. fort there. I like having level 3 forts. I'd like to have level 4 forts, but that's a lot of money and a long way away. Integrating is still going well. Trade Depot there sounds good to me. I want to get these guys as well, because this is an Italian area. Malta. Province Maltese is Maltese is not an accepted culture. Eh. Oh well. Still want it to be ours, really. Let's be honest. Five out of six enemies: Russia, Algiers, Ottomans, and Spain. I'm just build more stuff. Spend more money. And Pfizer died. Uh, let's get another one then. Trade power relations over time. Relations over time, I think, is the better one. So we basically finished all of the uh, all of the tasks that I had set out to do. We just have to annex these guys and wait and see if anything else interesting happens. Nope, still mine. You don't get to have them. I'll separate piece these guys because it's. Just the easiest option. You can actually convert Treviso, but I don't really know if I want to quite yet because it's, uh, you know, I'm building stuff in it and it takes forever. Okay, Siege of Malta. Good. Over. Uh, Sue for Peace. Welcome to being a vassal. Venice. Welcome to also being a vassal. Uh, so we will... Okay, you. Protect trade Genoa. You protect trade Venice. Hold 
Hold on. You guys who are injured. You. Just repair. Make sure everybody's back up to full strength. Noah, you, Venice, go. This one, this one, it's fine. So now let's improve relations and improve relations. Well, I think that's almost it. Uh, nine will build you another infantry. Ten. Uh, integration still going okay. enjoyed playing a country like this. This is fun. Um, it's a bit touch and go to begin with because you start in a very tricky situation, but you know, the whole not going for a world conquest thing is kind of nice. Or not, not a world conquest thing, but you know, you know what I mean. You know, having kind of a small defined territory, you can kind of just focus on making a bunch of money. and upgrading your places to make as much money as they can. And honestly, like, uh, Italy, especially northern Italy, like, is really just phenomenally rich. Like, it's way... Look at my base tax in Lombardy. 17 base tax. You know, that's... It's a lot of very good... Um, See this. this should... No, two years out, we'll save it. Uh, yeah, it's just... <clears throat> you do really well. You, you, you're, you don't hurt for money, I'll tell you that much. Look, I need 50 gold per month. <clears throat> What's Austria doing? Austria at war with Bavaria. Bohemia has Hungary Commonwealth. They're doing their I'm at war with everyone thing again. That old shtick. Trade embargo. Russia's. Ru Russia. Russia is embargoing us. Embargoing. Russia is embargoing us. Because I can speak English. Thank you very much. Not Russia is embargoing. Embargoing? Oh, god damn it. I'm just gonna shut up. I'm sorry. Shutting up now. Uh, so, I figure maybe a couple more episodes and we'll be done. Uh, I wish I could say there was another big event happening or another big thing that I had planned for this, but I really don't. Like, it's just gonna be Annex, these guys, and. Ten years' time, that'll be it. I guess 1605 is not a bad... Not a bad time to wrap it up. Uh, and then I don't know where we'll go from here. I don't know what we'll, uh... What we'll end up... Who we will end up playing as, what we'll end up doing. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Uh, let's do that there... I know I can get another idea, but again, I'd prefer to keep up with my tech, personally. Uh, we'll at least finally be hitting the point where, uh... I think shock... Or fire is actually better than shock. Soon-ish. Still, shock is sort of the best... Best option for us to take in a lot of these cases. Advisor has died. It's unfortunate. Uh, can we go for the prestige guy, I suppose? Nope. Gonna out. 
forbid you on the Pope papacy thing. So yeah, what have you guys thought about this uh, this so far? I think we're doing pretty good. Quite happy with our progress. Um, were I to continue this, I think I'd probably end up eating Burgundy. Just because they're the next sort of, you know, small people around me. Military. Uh... No, I think our guys are a bit better. Uh, yeah. I think I'd probably eat Burgundy, because they're the only other sort of small country outside of Austria. And then I'd probably try to, uh, win over... get my legitimacy up, and then win over the, uh... Holy Roman Empire election. Um, start building level 4 forts, may as well. General is dead. Sure, royal marriage from Venice, may as well. Um, I will recruit another general while I still have... You have a general, you do not. So you get this guy. Not the best, but great at sieging. <laughs> we have... This should be annexed pretty soon. Let's just say when I'll finish. 1958. January 1958. Okay. Not that far, actually. So let's go again. Build around the outside of our realm first. I think I've ever had a time when I've built uh, really big forts like this. Trade Depot there. Or like level 4 buildings even in EU4. I don't think I've ever built a level 4 building. Yeah, I don't know what else I'd do after that. Um, I mean, I suppose I could colonize this bit. This is mostly uncolonized. Uh, but we don't have, obviously, a close enough core province. I don't know. I mean, I couldn't take on, I couldn't take on the Ottomans, I couldn't take on Austria. France, per perhaps? Depending on... No, they have almost 70,000 troops now. That was a one-time deal when we got to fight France like that. Four, uh, let's... Borders with France are probably our priority. I guess I'll send you here, may as well. Money, we're still doing great on. Now bid all these guys. Yeah, I'll build about on the borders of France first with these big forts, and then... Then we'll work on the rest of it. This should almost be... Should almost be back in yellow at some point. There we go. Uh, Austria just annexed Sweden. Let's just look at how many troops they have here. Uh, 84,000, capacity for 85. Total troops. Uh, Ottomans, 100... Holy Jesus! 150 uh, force limit. They have almost 200... Almost have 200,000 troops. Uh, Spain, a lot. Russia, a lot, obviously. God damn, the Ottomans are big. Um... We still have a long time to go. Imperial integrity happened to us. Okay. That's the thing. We still have a long time to go, too. I mean, it ends in... 18-something? Or 17? Yeah, 18-something? So the Ottomans from here could eat Algiers and then just take over the rest of Europe. 
that might not be a bad idea. Um, just thinking about my old Ottoman game, uh, if I ever decide to redo it, I might just maybe eat Hungary and then eat my way over here. Russia is probably the biggest check for that, because you'd have to get to, where the hell is it, Moskva? Which actually is not that far from the Commonwealth border. Crazy. Anyways, we'll pick this up next time. I'm Manic Ming. This is Europe Universalis 4. Take care.